Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode with The Navigator. I am Ryan, your host, and today's video, as the title states, Fuel Tanker CB Emergency. Stay tuned to see what I mean by it. If this is your first time here, I'm a truck driver here in the USA. Was with a uh, pretty large company for about a year and a half. Now I'm with FedEx Ground, hauling doubles, running the night train. So if you like my content in this video, make sure you ring the bell, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, so it lets YouTube know that you like my videos. And it helps me out to get my videos out. And like I said, if you are new, I got tons of videos down below, so make sure you go and check them out. So anyways, let's get right into this video. Um, this happened two or three nights ago, about 1.30, 2 a.m. I was heading up I-84 in the state of Connecticut. Ooh, stay cell phone. Um, so I was heading up I-84 in Connecticut, just out of Hartford, and it was uh, me, a fuel tanker, and another truck heading up. And I'm um, just driving along, minding my own business, listening to the radios, and uh, saw Spock's coming out from by the cab. I thought he had thrown a cigarette out or something, but... They continued. Long story short, I got up next to the fuel tanker and um, he had about a two inch pipe with a elbow on it that was dragging right behind his cab. And he was in a day cab and spikes were flying everywhere. So I grabbed the old handy CB mic here and started hauling to the fuel tanker and guess what? He didn't answer me. So I hollered to him again, nothing. Well, I got up next to him because we were going up a hill and I don't carry hardly any weight, even though I had two trailers on. And um, got up next to him, turned all the lights on in here. You could see me. I had my window down, honking the air horn, telling him, hey, pull over. You got you got an issue going on. He just ignores me, kind of whatever, kind of looks over and just keeps on trucking. So I do it a second time on the next hill. Still nothing. And... Um, I don't know if he was loaded. I assume he was loaded because he was pretty lagging up the hill. So I contacted the company and they were able to ping the truck and um, knew who it was and said they would get in contact with the driver. And I told him, I said, hey, I was on the CB hollering at him. I had my lights on. I was flashing, air horn, nothing. And uh, the guy just kind of chuckled. It's like, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. But he thanked me for calling, appreciated it. And um, it could have been a big issue really could have been I mean who knows if there was any fuel on the lines left over or fumes coming out of the out of a tank or something uh, the metal could have got even hotter I don't know what the raw the pipe went to a uh, hundred thousand things could happen maybe not maybe so but the moral behind this is guys I don't care what people say this is all you don't need a CB no one talks on a CB anymore it's not like the old days Blah, 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 blah. I can tell you this. I've been out here for about a year and a half right now. Almost two years. And you need a freaking CB. It costs $119 for this CB that I bought. And now, let me tell you something. At Loves, they do rebates. Every month, they do a rebate. And sometimes the CBs are cheaper than $119. And you get more off. But when you do a rebate... You buy the CB and you usually get 20 or 30 bucks back in the mail. Most of us fuel at major truck stops, Loves, TAs, Pilots, uh, Flying J's, and so on. Everyone has points and everyone has rebates, guys. Save up your freaking points and buy yourself a CB. I don't care what anyone says. They'll save your life. They've helped me, or I should say my CB has helped me more times than I can count when I was running in the southeast. People saying, hey, there's a wreck up here on 20 or 75 or 85. Take this bypass around the construction in Greenville, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Go this road, go that road, and you get around the damn wreck, and you're not tied up. Or, hey, there's major construction going on. There's a major backup right over the top of the hill. You want to slow down now because you can't see what's going on on the other side of that hill or no. Just buy a freaking CB. You buy a GPS, you buy cell phones, 
it's $119 for the cheapest one. And you can get them even cheaper, guys. I have the Cobra S29 um, or 29 Cobra S. Yeah, the Cobra LTD 29. So, And I went out and bought myself a, a static mic. We got an extra speaker. I bought the antennas. I spent the 50 bucks. Had it tuned. So, anyways, if this gentleman had had a CB in his truck, I wouldn't have called the company. Who knows if he got in trouble. Hopefully he didn't. But the safety was my main priority here. So, guys, buy a damn CB, all right? So, that will conclude this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell button, subscribe, do all that happy stuff. And uh, there'll be some more videos coming out here pretty soon. I've just been running my face off um, six days a week. Could run seven if I had the hours, but I got to at least spend one night at home um, with the girls. So, all right. Navigator is out. Till next time, guys, be safe out there and buy yourself a CB.